Good evening and welcome to Grant High School's presentation evening for 2020. Thank you to Joel Ramsey for that wonderful performance, um, his last performance as a Grant High School student. Um, I'm Laura Mancuso and I'm delighted to be here this evening to announce the awards alongside Fleur Roch Rochok, who I will hand over to to the Acknowledgement of Country. Good evening. We acknowledge and respect the Boendick people on whose ancestral lands we are meeting today. We honour and respect our community members and elders past, present and future and are grateful for the opportunity to celebrate the efforts of our students in this beautiful place. Many thanks. I'm going to move straight into my speech now. You'll be pleased to know it's a little bit shorter than usual. And I can see you all, which is very different from how it usually happens. because It's usually very dark at the Sir Robert Helpman and I can't see any faces. 2020 has been quite a year. And I want to first of all take this opportunity to honour our staff who kept coming to work, showing faith in the authorities' assertions that we would be safe from COVID-19, in work conditions nearly everyone else in our community was encouraged to avoid. In retrospect, we can see that the advice was largely correct, but the sheer will it took to maintain this commitment for our students and their families, when so much was still unknown, will have my admiration forever. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the terrible difficulties the staff and students in our cross-border community weathered this year. We had teachers move house in order to be able to keep coming to work, and one who is now the poster woman for teaching from home. Students and staff alike were COVID-19 tested weekly and the efforts students made to keep coming to school were phenomenal. We are so very proud of these members of our community for the resilience they showed in such trying circumstances. We've had a really successful year in spite of external difficulties and I have been thrilled with how our students and staff have managed some outstanding achievements in a broad spectrum of activities. We have also trialled a range of innovations to engage and educate young people more thoroughly for their lives beyond school. Week 10 of Term 2 focused on entrepreneurial skills for Year 8s and Year 9s, while our Year 10s undertook career immersion and our Year 11s a research project intensive. These were all highly successful and engaging, preparing students well for their futures immediately in the case of Year 11s, but further down the track for others. Similarly, a student-led focus group undertook a review of the personal improvement program, which students in years eight to 10 take for 80 minutes each Friday. This has resulted in extra excellent entrepreneurial learning occurring across the school. It is fair to say that students might not immediately recognise the benefits of this learning, but the skills and capabilities they have developed in this time will be invaluable to them later in life. We are the state champions in STEMI, where a group of our Year 10 students competed regionally and then at a statewide level to showcase their science, technology, engineering and mathematics skills. These students performed at an exemplary level to solve problems and think innovatively in collaboration with each other. We are incredibly proud of them. We're also full of admiration for our Shark Tank team, who finished in the top nine of 300 teams from across Australia. Their pitch was outstanding, and we should take great comfort from, comfort from the fact that soon these young people will be looking after a much broader part of the world. Likewise, we are very proud of how we have addressed elements of our site improvement plan. Specifically, those uh, elements around SACE completion for our Aboriginal learners and our FLC students. We have demonstrated huge improvements in both of those areas and look forward to publishing definitive information in our annual report at the beginning of next year. The dedication our staff have shown in planning engaging curriculum, supporting wellbeing and focusing on excellent educational outcomes along with the great commitment of our students has ensured this improvement and we congratulate them all on their outstanding work. While we look, all look forward to 2020 being over, we are realistic enough to know that 2021 might continue to throw difficulties our way. We are, however, confident that we have the resilience to handle whatever comes next. 
Please enjoy a safe Christmas and New Year and we look forward to a fabulous 2021. Now, my very great pleasure to welcome to the outgoing school captains, uh, Paige Clark and Kelly Ryan, and the incoming school captains, Rachel Kelly and Caitlin Letizia. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paige Clark, and this is Kelly Ryan, and we had the pleasure of being as Grant High School school captains for 2020. This year, as we've all known, has been quite crazy. However, we set out goals and we wanted to achieve them. We plan to bring more student voice into our school. We were not able to accomplish as much as we have planned. However, the SRC was lucky enough to have an action group that created a new mobile phone policy, which we hope to be introduced in 2021. We had many themed casual days throughout the year and were able to donate to many great causes, including the Stanlight Stone Foundation, Cancer Council, the Grant High School Gym, and many more. We would now like to introduce the school captains for 2021, Rachel Kelly and Caitlin Letizia, working alongside our vice captains, Kelly Wallace and Scout Earlshaw. We hope they have a productive year as leaders and wish them all the best in their roles next year. Good evening. I'm Caitlin Letizia and this is Rachel Kelly and we're your 2021 school captains. We are privileged to have this opportunity working alongside Vice Captain Scout Elshaw and Kelly Wallace. Our collaborative goal is to improve student voice at Grant High School by promoting the positive impact student opinion can have. The envisioned aim in our leadership work is to strengthen the communication between students and staff. We will achieve this by following the process of change formed by the Yongjiao Changemakers team, which Scout and I were a part of. The SRC has experience with applying the process to school policies, including the mobile phone and deadline policy, but we hope to assist in uniting the efforts of both student-led groups. Implementing the process of change in this way will further entrench student representation into Grant High School's culture. To continue improving communication within the school, we intend to invoke student conversations by revamping Kurang's idea of hot chockey and biscuit catch-ups. Located in a comfortable setting, the catch-ups will allow students to engage in voicing their concerns. Our initial idea is to plan this following the current community setup in, fo in student focus led groups and student focus groups led by their community captains. Therefore, this will strengthen community-based communication throughout the school. As school captains, Caitlin and I are focusing on increasing, on increasing the presence of student representative council. We know that meaningful student voice comes from opinions being accurately involved when representing the student body. By possibly moving the SRC moving meet, meeting time to Friday's PIP and catch up lesson, the lengthened time will allow for stronger student change to be enforced. Grant High School has in, been invited to an, attend an American Youth Summit, informing on the impact student voice has in secondary schools. This opportunity has been presented due to my work communicating with the New York academic on the topic of student voice. The summit will prove to be of great benefit to the school as an international event. Our intentions as 2021 school captains are focused on strengthening student voice by improving communication throughout Grant High School. By gaining effective student representation and creating collaboratives of change, we hope to inspire other students with our ideas intended to remain in the future. Working collaboratively as a team of four captains, we plan to address issues of concern while upholding the values of respect, trust and commitment. Thank you. I'd like to uh, present, first of all, the School Captain's Award and invite Miss Caroline Davey for this first set. So the School Captain's Award is presented to Paige Clark and Kelly Ryan. This year, under the guidance of Paige Clark and Kelly Ryan, the SRC has continued to raise money and awareness for a large variety of causes from the Cancer, Cancer Council, Mental Health Awareness and the School Gym. These two also helped support and facilitate the rebuilding of the new mobile phone policy. 
We have appreciated hearing their points of view on governing council and look forward to seeing them continue this influence in the world beyond school. For their contribution to the fabric of Grant High School, we would like to thank Kelly and Paige and wish them every success in their futures. The SRC Outstanding Achievers Award is presented to Molly Wilde. Molly has shown great commitment to the SRC, attending every meeting and leading from the front on all matters, big and small. Molly collaborated well with her peers throughout SRC this year, supporting multiple SRC events, as well as creating the new mobile phone policy, taking on feedback from both students and teachers in the process. Molly has also maintained strong academic results in all her areas of study, with the added pressure of participating in the organisation of many SRC events. The Australian Defence Force Future Innovators Award uh, is presented to Molly Wilde in Year 10 and Rylan Ward in Year 12. These awards go to young Australians who display a commitment to innovation and motivation in taking on science, technology, engineering and mathematical challenges. Rylan is an outstanding STEM student who has embraced many challenges in mathematics and science in particular over the course of his time at Grant High School. Molly applies STEM to more artistic pursuits such as photography and filmmaking. We look forward to seeing what both of these young people achieve in their very bright futures. The Australian Defence Force Awards for Leadership and Teamwork are presented to Gemma Ralph in Year 10 and Joel Ramsey in Year 12. These awards have been created to acknowledge the achievements of young people who have demonstrated outstanding qualities of leadership and teamwork within our school or the wider community. Joel Rep demonstrates these values by mentoring younger students in music, while Gemma wins the award for the great maturity and responsibility she shows towards all aspects of school life, including being part of a group that worked with Professor Yong Zhao around consulting with students to revamp our personal improvement program. Congratulations. The Caltex Best All-Rounder Award is presented to Braden Burston. While Braden has worked hard to achieve his high academic results, he also involved himself in many sporting and community groups. He has been highly competitive in athletics, cycling and hockey. Braden has been a valued member in Grant High School's State Hockey Championships and currently plays Division I hockey in Mount Gambia. Within the hockey community, he has coached junior teams and supported children of varying abilities, volunteered at events at Gordon Education Centre and recently as a disability support worker. Braden has proven himself to be a valued member of the community and we wish Braden every success in his future and congratulate him on his achievements. The Housing SA Community Service Award is presented to Sam McTaggart. Awarded for tireless and outstanding contrib contribution to the Mount Gambia community, Sam has been volunteering for the Mount Gambia Basketball Association at the Ice House for several years now. He has been passionate in the coaching of several under 12 male junior teams over this time, which has allowed him to impart his knowledge and skills in the game of basketball to his charges. Besides the actual coaching of individual teams, he also continually offers his time to score other games and assist with the general organisation of the competition nights. It is Grant High School's honour to have such a mature and community-minded student such as Sam, and we take this opportunity to acknowledge his dedication and commitment in the support of others. The 2020 Sportspersons of the Year Awards are presented to Ella Matheson and James Allen. The Sportsperson of the Year Awards recognise those students who have been consistent contributors to the school's sports programs during 2020. Students are recognised for their support of the inter-house and inter-school sports carnivals, as well as their willingness to represent the school in the Secondary School Sport of South Australia Knockout Sports Competition and their efforts in local South East Secondary School Sports Competitions. The Sportsperson of the Year winners typify the personal organisation, cooperation, selflessness and sportsmanship that Grant High School encourages in all its students. Congratulations. <laughs> the Grant High School Contribution to School Sports Award is presented to Carol Uzi in absentia and Braden Burston. 
This annual award recognises the contribution made by a Year 12 student to Grant High School sports program over their five years of secondary schooling. It also acknowledges the effort, consistent participation, sacrifice and positive influence they have made over their years at Grant High School and it is with pleasure that we acknowledge Carol and Braden for their contribution. The next set of awards will be presented by Mr Scott Cran. The Dale Cleves Music Development Awards go to Charlotte Dowdle, Bethany Humphreys, Josh Harful and Emerald Ladner. They are awarded to students who have shown outstanding commitment and service to music and we wish to acknowledge and congratulate these wonderful young people. The Bruce Miller Rotary Club of Mount Gambier Lakes Excellence in Performing Arts Awards uh, goes to Gajanan Frost. Gadge has been a highly active member of our performing arts program through his, out his entire studentship at Grant High. Starting in year eight as an enthusiastic pianist and vocalist, Gadge landed major roles in our school mu musicals playing a young boy with autism who saves the day in 2017 Spectrum and as a seedy and tragic hotel developer in 2019's Shifting Sands. Gadge consistently performed at an outstanding level at our major annual events, but he really showed the world what he was made of when he totally owned the moment as superstar Guy Sebastian surprised him on stage. With this moment already hitting 175,000 views on YouTube, we can be sure this isn't the last the world has heard of Gajan and Frost. The Grant High School 2020 Citizenship Award goes to Rachel Curtis. Rachel's contribution to Grant High School over the course of her four years here has been excellent across the board. In addition, her involvement in the wider community makes her an exceptional young citizen who is thoroughly worthy of this award. Rachel is an outstanding student in the area of agriculture, undertaking Certificate 2 and 3 in Ag, whilst at the same time studying Stage 2 Agricultural Science. This year, Rachel won the role of South Australian Rural Youth Ambassador. In addition, addition to this, Rachel is also an active member of the Redbacks Hockey Club. Rachel is a genuinely kind and respectful human. We wish her every success in her final year of, year of schooling and her years beyond school. <laughs> the continued service to the Grant High School Agriculture Program Award also goes to Rachel Curtis. Over the past four years, Rachel has been an integral member of the Grant High School Cattle Club and has religiously attended the annual South East Cattle Handlers Workshop held at the Mount Gambier Showgrounds. Her passion for the agricultural industry and especially beef cattle has fueled her desire to learn and absorb as much as is possible in knowledge and skills involved in showing cattle. Rachel's dedication not only to the agricultural program but her overall interest and commitment to agriculture across the Mount Gambier and wider Lomestone Coast region is highly commendable. In absentia, the Principal's Design Award is, goes to Allende Camblor and the Principal's of Photography Award is presented by Mr Cram to Sierra Young. Sierra has a photograph in your programs that you can see. That explains everything. Beautiful. Not the bit with me in it, but the other part. The Grant High School Senior School Photography Award goes to Sophie Cauldry. This award is presented to a Year 11 student who demonstrates, the ex who, who demonstrates excellent camera skills, creativity and sophisticated photography techniques. That award went off with a bang. Sophie's projects were consistently of a very high standard and in particular her photo book images displayed a high level of camera and editing skills beyond year 11 standards. Well done, Sophie. The Marlene Lingham Memorial Performing Arts Development Award goes to Joel Ramsey. 
As any musician knows, a great band is only ever as good as their drummer. We have been so lucky to have Joel Rams Ramsey as the backbone of so many productions and performances throughout his whole studentship at Grant High School. He has literally been the pulse of many amazing moments in the performing arts over the last five years, and any performance that he was involved in was enriched with his mature application of complex rhythm rhythms and his infectious positive attitude. This year, alongside presenting outstanding solo performances, Joel volunteered his time to the Stage 2 Ensemble Performance class and assisted and mentored his peers towards their assessment pieces. Joel's attitude towards his art also manifests in his approach to life, and he always presents himself as an enthusiastic, confident and positive human who will be a role model for countless others in the years to come. We're going to make Joel come back for the Sinclair Wilson Senior School Business and Enterprise Award. He was highly committed to his studies of business and enterprise this year. His mature approach, hard work and dedication to improvement resulted in a high level of achievement across all assessment tasks. Joel has a great understanding of current economic trends and I noticed other sorts of trends at the formal the other night, nice work, and is able to market a product well in today's society. Well done, Joel. I'd like to welcome Mrs Donna Wilde to present the next set of awards. The Nunkula Flexible Learning uh, Community Achievement Award is presented in, abs in absentia to Caitlin Mays. This award is in recognition of the perseverance and commitment of students in completing their SAFE pathway despite various challenges that have presented themselves. Caitlin has uh, overcome significant barriers and has worked hard to successfully complete her Certificate 2 in Retail, Certificate 2 and 3 in Hospitality, Research Project and specifically her leadership skills whilst undertaking a girls group in Community Studies. Her commitment to her studies and level of achievement in completing her SACE has been outstanding. Well done, Caitlin. The Barry Maynard Group Award for Continual Learning and Continuous Improvement is presented to Maddie Sage. This award is presented to a person who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and effort in pursuing continued learning and improvement. We are pleased to present this award to Maddie Sage. From the time she was in Year 8, Maddie has consistently applied herself to her studies and maintained a positive attitude. She is unerringly polite in her dealings with staff and seeks and acts upon feedback in order to achieve optimum outcomes. We wish Maddie the very best for her life beyond school. The Auntie Viv Ma Award is presented to Marnie Beck. This award was established by Grant High School in 2019 to commemorate the commitment of Auntie Viv Ma to the community. Auntie Viv was a passionate believer in social justice, which she demonstrated through her career as a social worker. She was also someone who stood up for the rights of others. A proud Aboriginal woman, Auntie Viv was a valued community member and had a positive effect on the people around her. This year, it is a pleasure to recognise her efforts through the presentation of this award to an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander student in Year 12 who has demonstrated consistent application to their studies through regular attendance and engagement, con contribution to the local and wider community through mentoring or leadership, which can be public or behind the scenes, and acknowledgement and pride in their heritage and identity as an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person. I believe we have a video. Hi, I'm Kaim Ma, the Shadow Attorney General and Shadow Aboriginal Affairs Minister in South Australia and a graduate of Grant High School. Um, the Auntie Viv Ma Award recognises a proud Aboriginal student who's shown a commitment to their studies and a commitment to the wider community in general. It's named after Auntie Viv Ma, or as I knew her better, my mum. Uh, Auntie Viv was a passionate, proud Aboriginal woman who showed a commitment to her community in Mount Gambier. She was a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016 with the NAIDOC uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, was a life member of the Australian Social Work Association, the only South Australian to be awarded uh, that, and was also a life member of the Labor Party. Uh, in everything that she did, she showed a commitment to social justice and a commitment to her Aboriginal community. And, uh, and the recognition that comes with this award shows uh, a student at Grant High School's similar commitment, a commitment to uh, bettering themselves through their studies and a commitment to your community. Uh, I am sure that the recipient of this year's Auntie Viv Award will make a huge contribution 
to the Aboriginal and wider community in Mount Gambier, and I can't wait to see the sort of leadership that you go on to show. Uh, congratulations to the recipient, and uh, I really look forward to all the things that you do in the future. Congratulations, Marnie. The 2019 Les Hill Rotary Award for Student of the Year is presented in absentia to Holly Baldock. This award is for the highest academic achiever at Grant High School in 2019. Les Hill was a member of Rotary for 50 years and was a well-known local historian, so the award is named in his honour. In 2019, our highest academic achiever was Holly Baldock with an ATAR of 97.85. Holly's academic achievements over her time at Grant High School bear testament to her work ethic and determination and now see her studying at the University of Adelaide, currently upholding an internship in the university's science department. I'd now like to welcome Mr Campbell Baker to present the Academic Excellence Awards for Year 8. For Advanced Music, Caleb Berlin. Also for Advanced Music, Yenna Joyce. For Cultural Studies, Damie Buckley. For Cultural Studies, Ruby Slotograph. For English, Holly Beer. For English, Jack Leishman. For Hass, Lara Jolly. For Hass, Abby Miller. For HPE, Will Cameron. For HPE, Lily Figert. For Mathematics, Patrick Langsmith. For Mathematics and Materials Technology, Ella Matheson. For Materials Technology, Kobe Crowhurst. For Science, Lachlan Ray. For science, Caitlin Stevens. And for visual art, Ashley Beck. Congratulations, Year Eights. The Academic Excellence Awards for Year Nine will be presented by Mr. Scott Cran. For advanced music and HPE, James Allen. For advanced music, Hass, Materials Technology and Science, Josh Harful. For drama, Amelia Clark. For drawing and painting, Hass and recreation, James Winterfield. For elite performing arts and English, Jocelyn Work. For English, Mathematics, Media Arts and Science, Lachlan Johnston. For Food and Nutrition, Charlotte Malinowski. For HPE, Ava Norman. For Mathematics, Ashley Pettingill. For Materials Technology, Kyle Johnson. For Music Performance, Shannon Wells. For Photography and Recreation, Lily DeLayland. 
For photography, Bethany Humphreys. Congratulations, Year Nines. The Academic Excellence Awards for Year 10 will be presented by Ms Caroline Davey. For Advanced Mathematics, Luke England. For Advanced Mathematics, Dylan McGregor. For Advanced Music, Chelsea Ray. For Digital Technologies, James Allen. For Drama, Sophie Myers. For Drawing and Painting, Jordana Campbell. For Elite Performing Arts, Brianna Jones. For English, Molly Wilde. For English and Myths and Legends, Neve Leishman. For Japanese, Selena Coombe. For Materials Technology, Matthew Pendry. For Materials Technology, Ben Young. For Music Performance, Jordan Dole. For Physical Education, Sophie Caldry. For Physical Education, Connor Milhouse. For Science, Mia Crew. For Science, Gemma Ralph. Congratulations, Year 10s. The Academic Excellence Awards for Stage 1 will be presented by Mr Scott McCulloch. For Advanced Music, Emerald Ladner. For Ancient Studies and English, Gemma Ralph. For Art and Craft and General Mathematics, Rachel Kelly. For Biology, Angus Langsmith. In Absentia for Business Innovation, Catherine Picken. For Chemistry, Chelsea Ray. For Community Studies, Jacob Rigney. In absentia for Creative Arts, Media Arts, Tamika Kopic. For Design and Technology Communications Products, Digital Photography and Outdoor Education, Molly Wild. For Digital Technology, Caleb Adam. In absentia for Drawing and Painting, Katie Whitworth. In absentia for Elite Performing Arts, Kelly Wallace. In absentia for Elite Sports Development, Ella Kuklonis. For Elite Sports Development and Outdoor Education, Ben Young. In absentia for Essential English, both Chloe Gillen Hull and Kaylee Keenan. For Legal Studies, Brianna Jones. For Materials Technology, Jacob Arthurson.
for materials technology, Keely Formosa. In absentia for mathematical methods and physics, Will Scanlon. For music performance, Piper Stork. For philosophy, Aidan Creasy. For physical education and tourism, Scout Earlshaw. In absentia for physical education, Riley Locke. In absentia for psychology, Zara Blackwell. For workplace practices, Georgia O'Donnell. Congratulations, stage one students. The Academic Excellence Awards for Stage 2 will be presented by Mrs Donna Wilde. For Agriculture, Angus Lang-Smith. For Biology, Kelly Ryan. For Business and Enterprise and Music Solo Performance, Joel Ramsey. For chemistry, mathematical methods, physics, and specialist mathematics, Rylan Ward. For child studies, Alex Schwartz. For communications products, digital photography, Rachel Kelly. For community studies, Ryan Plummer. In absentia for Creative Arts, Riley Locke. For Design and Technology Materials Products, Furniture Construction, Jet Mules. In absentia for Digital te Technology, Riley Gronveld. In absentia for, digital, uh, for English, Jack Donoghue. And in absentia for Essential English, Ella Hardy. For Food and Hospitality, Olivia Lamble. For General Mathematics, Brooke Marcus. For Legal Studies and Workplace Practices, Emily McNaughton. For Literary Studies, Maddie Sage. For Music Ensemble Performance, Gajanan Frost. For Music Explorations, Geneva Byrne. For Outdoor Education, Alex Jolly. For Physical Education and Research Project B, Marnan Finch. For Research Project A, Shay Brown. In absentia. For Tourism, Georgia Bald. In absentia for Visual Arts Art, Georgie Mann. And in absentia for Visual Arts Design, Faith Rees. Congratulations to our Stage 2 students. The next set of awards will be presented by Mr. Scott McCulloch. The DICER Construction Commitment to Learning Award is presented to Tanisha Cowland. Tanisha has excelled in many ways this year and shown herself to be a very valuable member of the class. Tanisha shows initiative within the classroom, assisting others with their work and helping some of our students with extra needs. When working in groups, Tanisha frequently takes on a leadership role making suggestions, encouraging others, and getting things started when others may be struggling. Tanisha has an excellent attitude towards her work and has worked very hard with improving both her literacy and numeracy skills. Congratulations, Tanisha.
The Designs by Solly Design Award goes to Caitlin White. Throughout the year, Caitlin has worked on developing her understanding of architecture around the world and how to apply her knowledge to the real world. She discovered her aptitude for building design in a previous course and used her Stage 2 Visual Arts design work to consolidate these skills. The model and technical plans Caitlin produced for the home she designed show understanding of size, scale, computer-aided drawing pro programs, as well as livability. Well done, Caitlin. The Riddock Art Gallery Visual Arts Award goes in, a, an in absentia to Allende Camblor. Allende's work for her Stage 2 Visual Arts Design course has set her apart from her peers, particularly in terms of understanding the link between the visual arts and the objects we use in our daily lives. Allende's dedication to her studies has seen her develop all facets of the design process and was complemented by a wide range of influences from Lalique's glass to Gaudi's architecture. A creative and inquiring mind is reflected in Allende's work this year. The multi-purpose lighting she developed is an elegant, technical and marketable solution to the design problem Allende set herself. Allende also wins the UFS Chemist Scholarship for 2020. This is awarded to a Year 12 student who will be pursuing further study, abides by Grant High School's Code of Conduct and is a conscientious and dedicated student. And it is with great pleasure that we award that scholarship to Allende this year. The Kimberly Clark Debating and Public Speaking Award goes to Connor Wilson and Molly Wilde. Connor Wilson was one of our standouts in a particularly standout year for the annual Year 9 debating competition. He is a poised speaker displaying excellent general knowledge and research skills while also providing good pace and emphasis. Molly displayed her standout debating skill and strong le team leadership during the staff versus student debates. If I recall, Mr McCulloch, that went quite well for us. Yes, it did. Molly did beautifully as well too, where she demonstrated her sophisticated arguments that highlighted her deep understanding of economic and political impact and how they are used for persuasion. Congratulations, Connor and Molly. The Walpara Anpa Award goes to Jordan Doll. This award is an initiative that has been developed to encourage academic participation targeting Year 10 Aboriginal secondary school students across South Australia. A laptop is awarded to students in different regional categories for successful applicants. The winning student must be enrolled to complete their SACE, attend school regularly and achieve consistent satisfactory results throughout the academic year. Jordan has been an overall achiever with her studies and tries to tr strives to be the best she can be. Her goal to be a teacher is something that is well within her reach and abilities. We're very proud of her and we're also very proud of the fact that today we found out that she won a Dame Roma Mitchell scholarship as well. Well done, Jordan. <laughs> the MEGT Australian Apprenticeship Centre School Based Apprentice Student of the Year Award for 2020 goes to Arlo Jens. This award is presented to a student who displays superior organisational skills, time management, motivation, attitude and understanding with regard to their school-based apprenticeship. Arlo has completed a Certificate 2 in Kitchen Operations and is com currently completing a Certificate 3 in Commercial Cookery while working full-time at the South Eastern Hotel and completing his SACE at Grant High School. At the South Eastern Hotel, Arlo's employer says he was enthusiastic to learn from day one and his quiet, attentive attitude and exceptional work, work ethic was noticed early by the chefs and led him to being offered a school-based apprenticeship. His punctual, polite, kind and enthusiastic qualities which have helped him progress from dishes to general preparation to become an integral part of the kitchen team. Well done, Arlo. I'll invite Mr Campbell Baker for the next set of awards. Uh, the Group Training Employment Vocational Education and Training Award is presented in absentia to Violet Weber. This award goes to a student who has demonstrated a commitment to future learning in the vocational education training sector. Violet has completed a Certificate 3 in Dance, where she has proven to be a dedicated and organised student. She has demonstrated that she is capable of being a team leader, always striving for excellence, and has overcome group challenges while demonstrating her knowledge of the units and applying them in a practical setting. 
Violet consolidated her dance knowledge by creating a series of dance classes for staff and students as part of her stage two research project. She created a zine for her outcome to pass on the lessons she learned from the process. Congratulations, Violet. The Banner Mitre 10 Building Trades Award is presented to Joshua Stafford. In a very disruptive year, Josh has shown his ability to be organised and work flexibly. He has remained focused on gaining, gaining an apprenticeship as a carpenter, taking opportunities to impress host employers whilst on work placement with his work ethic, willingness to have a go and preparedness for, to learn. Josh takes a measured approach to his work, checking and confirming relevant information before commencing a task. His eye for detail will be appreciated in his goal to be a second fix carpenter. Well done, Josh. <laughs> the Banner Might Attend Building Trades Scholarship is presented to Lachlan Buckley. This scholarship is awarded to a school student who has demonstrated a high level of competency in the technology workshop and is also interested in entering the building and construction industry. In design and technology classes, Lachlan has shown a strong willingness to learn. He always demonstrates initiative and asks questions when needed. Lachlan uses hand and power tools in a safe and productive manner, which has him well on the way to, be, to making a great tradesperson. Well done, Lachlan. <laughs> the People's Choice Credit Union General Mathematics Student of the Year Award is presented to Brooke Marcus. This award is presented to a student who has been highly successful in the study of Stage 2 General Mathematics. Brooke is a conscientious student who has demonstrated an excellent understanding of the content and concepts of the coursework, successfully applying her knowledge to a variety of situations. Brooke is a respectful and polite student who should be highly commended for her commitment to this subject. The UniSA John Petkoff Ex Excellence in Mathematical Methods Award is presented to Kelly Ryan. This award is presented to a student achieving academic excellence in stage two mathematical methods. Kelly has shown a solid commitment to her mathematical me methods in her final year at Grant. Kelly shows great perseverance in mathematics, but is also confident in seeking support from her teacher, where she is able to communicate her ideas and process her logic. Her hard work pays off particularly in her test results, which are of an excellent standard. Well done, Kelly. <laughs> the UniSA John Petkov Excellence in Specialist Mathematics Award is presented to Rylan Ward. This award is presented to a student achieving ac academic excellence in stage two specialist mathematics. Rylan has shown excellent commitment to his study in specialist math. He has demonstrated exceptional ability to work both independently and in a group environment with excellent motivation and strong determination to succeed. Rylan should be proud of his efforts and we wish him all the best in his future path. The 141 Emily, Emily Redding Memorial Award for Academic Excellence is also presented to Rylan Ward. Rylan has demonstrated an excellent commitment to his studies during his time at Grant High School. He is organised and diligent, demonstrating commitment and determination in all aspects of his work. Rylan works extremely hard, and this is reflected in the fact that he achieved a high grade for a stage two class in 2019, but still attempted five challenging subjects in 2020. It has been a pleasure to watch Rylan work with minimal fuss, striving to do his best in all aspects of his schooling. Congratulations, Rylan. The 141 Excellence in Woodwork Award is presented to Jet Mules. This year in materials products, Jet has shown great attention to detail to build his major product. He has put in the time to complete a contemporary coffee table using both the metalwork and woodwork workshops and showing he is highly skilled in both areas. Jet's final product shows he sets himself high standards, has very high attention to detail and has the ability to problem solve issues throughout the course. Jet has produced an outstanding product and he should be extremely proud of his efforts. Congratulations, Jet. The most outstanding students in years eight to 11 will be presented by Mrs. Fleur Rochok. These awards for outstanding students in years eight to 11 are presented to students who achieve the highest grades across all subject areas. Many of the students will have received straight A's in the subjects they have undertaken this year. Our year eight outstanding students are Lara Jolly and Lucy Pridham.
our Year 9 outstanding students are Lily DeLayland and Luke England. Our Year 10 outstanding students are Mia Crew and Gemma Ralph. And finally, our Year 11 outstanding students are Alex Jolly and Rachel Kelly. That concludes our presentation evening. Um, congratulations to all students who received an award this evening. Uh, we ask them to stay behind for a photo um, and we wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Thank you.